what I've just witnessed on this documentary is a miracle. This is essential viewing for any filmmaker. It's so modern, so ahead of time. Oh my God, dude. I thought it was inspiring, I thought it was fantastic. The, his approach to filmmaking, I've never seen anything like it. Every single thing that we worry about as filmmakers is, is overcome in, in this short documentary. I think what Naeem has showed us is that, you know, regardless of these, you know, social boundaries that are put in place, we can achieve something if we build a community around this project that all have the same values and, you know, come together to achieve films like this. The new filmmaker's bible, I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. We have our film god, dare I say it. Have you had any situations where you've not had any budget or any permission? All the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> to do a feature of that quality, the production values were fantastic. The one thing that came across in the documentary is how he brought the best out in so many people, and people who had never been in front of a camera before. And that there is something very special. The documentary is just so fantastic, and to now wait on Tenderhooks to see the film at the premiere in Leicester Square at Cineworld is gonna be just fantastic. I'm so excited. As a student, I think this documentary will inspire me to go out, make more films and just follow my passion. I'm a film student. I have an interest in directing right now. People like Naim are just a huge inspiration. You never know what to expect. He takes you on quite an adventure, quite a roller coaster, and he's always thinking outside the box. If you believe in something, as Naim said, no budget, nothing, you can still do it. The budget will come later. What are the key things you're taking away from this experience? Do it, do it, do it, no excuse. I came in not knowing what to expect and I've left very inspired like you said, but also I just want to watch the damn film, man. Yep. Made in heaven. <laughs>